In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an agent turn direction. If you'll notice, they're all moving in straight lines. So let's go to our code. If you haven't been following along, I'll put this code in the description. But if you haven't been following along, you're also not going to have the B2, right? We imported that in the last video. Let's make that a bug because everybody has a bug. All right. I'm also going to change the number of turtles to one so we can concentrate on one turtle. And let's go see what we got. We'll go to our interface. We'll hit the setup. Ah, we got our one bug. And I'm going to put that bug right in the center. So let's go back to our code. I am going to comment this line of code out, right? So that the computer doesn't see it, but we still see it. Two semicolons will do that. And that's great for commenting your code, which I haven't shown yet. All right, let's make the size four or I don't know, how about three, make it a little smaller, just so that you refresh on how to do that. Let's do set heading equal to zero. So we are no longer going to randomly put our bug in the workplace. We're no longer going to be randomly facing a certain direction. We are going to be at a heading of zero. Let's hit our check. Let's go to interface. Let's hit the setup. Heading zero straight up. If we make it 90 degrees, we're going to turn our bug 90 degrees. There we go. All right, but we're still not turning when we're hitting our go button. Still going straight. Let's go to our code. And when we ask turtles to move forward, we can ask them to do other things. Let's ask them to go right or left. And I'm randomly going to choose a direction. I think I'm going to declare a variable. So use the keyword let to declare a variable. I'm going to call it flip, like I'm flipping a coin. And we'll pick a number, a random number, between 0 and 1. So rand, random 2 will do that. Let's go ahead and do an if else statement. If else. If flip equals 0, we'll do this condition. Else, we'll do what's ever in here. So let's do our true condition first. So let's assume flip was zero. We will do a right random 45. So we're going to turn right between zero and 44 degrees, right? And then if the flip is one, we'll do left random 45 degrees. So we could change up to 45 degrees, either right or left off of our current heading. Let's go ahead and print that out. Let's see what our heading is. Let's see what it changed to. We'll do a print. I'll do an open parenthesis word for string concatenator. I'm going to say heading changed to. Let's do a colon there. Speech quote heading. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's hit the check. Yeah, looking good. Interface, setup, go. All right. It's moving around. And you might get sick of hitting that go button. Let's make a go forever button. Let's do a right click button. And it's still going to call the go command, but we're going to hit forever. And then you can change the display name to go forever. I'm just going to do go because we have these little arrows down here that indicate it's going to be a go forever. All right, so we'll hit OK. And then I'm going to move this. Just do a little drag with your mouse. Move that up. I'm going to hit Setup. I'm going to hit Go. Whoops. Go. Wow, it's moving too fast. Well, we could change our speed up here, right? Where it's clicking off these ticks. Let's just move this down. Nice. Now it's going at a decent speed. And we can see our heading changing right here. That's pretty cool. All right. I will see you in the next video.